can go home. I bought all the good bricks already. You did? Yeah. And the hag is still just awesome. I, I look for parts. I don't really care much about sets, but I, I do look for parts. I look for, you know, whatever I don't have. It is kind of funny that, you know, I've built these countless cars and uh, as it turns out, I don't have a car myself. I live uh, right here in the heart of Seattle. There was just never a need for it. Like th this guy right here, if you could see him from a distance, but this, what's it called? It's like a one by three curved slope. You know, this is my roof lines. This is the siding of my cars. You know, this is how everything gets all nice and curvy. And this is probably, you know, the best invention I think that they've come out with in recent history. My theory is there are a lot of engineers here and a lot of computer programmers and a lot of gamers. And that just seems to go hand in hand with Lego building. It's, you know, it's a hobby. It's something to do with your hands. It's engineering, it's programming, it's a lot of that. Not when I do it, but <laughs> it is, you know. And uh, I think that's why there's there's so many in the Northwest. Uh, for, I don't know, whatever reason, I, I do kind of like the 50s. Um, that theme seems to just be reoccurring in, in my artwork. You know, there's always exotic places and cars, you know, with fins that go on for miles. And uh, just kind of makes sense that that world brought itself into Lego as well. You know, as a kid, uh, you know, sure, I think I was just like any other. You know, I was building dinosaurs and spaceships and, you know, things like that. Uh, I think I was a very kind of laid-back kid, kind of thoughtful. Um, I was quiet a lot. I, you know, enjoyed just kind of sitting down, drawing, uh, studying people, you know. And then that kind of took me into, into my later life as well. So I do just kind of approach it differently. I approach it definitely as an artist. Um, as a result of that, I'm, I'm aware that I'm not a very good mechanic or a good engineer. Uh, sometimes I can't get two gears together without grinding them. Uh, so I have a hard time with that aspect. But in terms of just kind of visually different and visually striking, you know, it is something I could definitely pull off. And, and, it's, all, and it's all a show, you know, but I, I like to pretend you know, that they're geeks and I'm not, you know, I'm, a, I'm the cool car guy, you know, I'm, I'm the badass, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm the artist, but uh, I'm a geek too. It's just a different kind of geek. Uh, nerd Hobby number 17C, Swords, uh, Narrow Blade, uh, hand and half, you can get a second hand on this pretty good. Uh, the high carbon steel, not stainless, so, uh, hence the oil cloth. Uh, and uh, sharp enough to accidentally cut open a box of Legos. Don't ask me how I know that. Uh, dorkdom has has gone up in uh, gone up in popularity. There's freedom in being old enough not to care. All my other hobbies, video games, um, role playing games. We have a Dungeons and Dragons group. That's what we're currently playing. Who comes over every. Uh, usually every other week because we have jobs and stuff. Uh, we can't play four times a week for four hours like we used to. We were playing the same online video game and going through divorces at the same time. And so, you know, two desperate souls reaching out in the night. Oh, please. Okay, fighting crime and cracking fart jokes. Um, <laughs> so I, I build very organically, <laughs> bugs. Um, in that I have a shape I want to achieve and so I'll often build this incredibly fragile skeleton and then then go put in cross beams so I can get that shape. Uh, it's kind of a long process. I, I've really blown away by people who can build like like have this intricate shape and just build it from the ground up sturdy and done and not everybody can do that but there are people who do that and they drive me crazy but yeah I build like this, I wanted a you know a big high altitude bomber that was shaped like a moth. Here's the payload specialist. Breakons where you make friends, where you show off what you built, where you bring all your stuff, you see everything you've been looking on online. Yeah, friends is the biggest thing you take away always.